Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today, and I've got to start this off with a special announcement. A lot of you may be familiar with a movie called Joker. It's a good movie in my opinion, right? And so I've been very much looking forward to whatever they do next, and I'm happy to tell you all, I'm a part of that. I've actually been cast as a clown in this movie, specifically the sellout clown. Um, I really nailed this role with my cyberpunk review, and it was punctuated by a wonderful article written about cyberpunk reviewers saying that uh, we are sellout clowns for covering the game before launch. And so I just want to thank you all for helping me get to this opportunity. Being a sellout clown, it is something I'm so <laughs> Okay, I, I can't finish it. <laughs> What this actually does do is lets me lead into a point I did want to make early on. I have seen a lot of people coming at, for example, me in my news videos for being too negative, but in my review video for being too positive. I just want to make it clear up front before we get into today's news talking about what is actually the worst bug in cyberpunk that will impact you, whether you're okay with bugs or not, whether it's visual or not, it does not matter. This is something significant, but that two things can be true at once. You can really like the game, like say I do, right? I really like the game. I like its storytelling, its writing. I really like the gameplay loop. I like the builds that you can make. I think it's a good RPG, but I also really don't like how the game launched. I don't like the decisions the executives made. I think that it deserves attention and coverage. And I think that these two can happen at the same time. A lot of the internet likes to say, pick a side. And it's like, no, we're not picking a side here. The game is awesome in my opinion, but it's got a lot of issues that are gonna be ironed out and fret not as things get patched out. Good news will come, but for now, I hate to say it, but more bad news. So with that, let's talk about the latest bug for Cyberpunk 2077. So normally it's more like news bashes I do here on the channel. I grab a bunch of stories and throw them all to you at once to make sure that I'm giving you the most worthwhile content, right? I'm not just trying to milk the news out and make a video per story, but throw them all together. Today's topic does demand a video of its own. <laughs> I'll be real with you because this is a bug that can impact everyone. Even if you have a high tolerance to bugs, it's not even something like that because this is a bug that can corrupt your save file for merely how you would play any other RPG on planet Earth. So this all really started off with a Reddit post which is at 10,000 plus upvotes right now. PSA, your save file is capped at eight megabytes on all all platforms. The post reads, which means if it goes over, your save file will get corrupted. This essentially means you can't craft, collect, and do everything in the game like any other open world RPG. The devs recommend not collecting a bunch of items and pretty much not crafting a ton. Beat the story and start over. This is BS and should be brought to their attention by a ton of people so they can sort this out as soon as possible. They said they might be able to raise the size higher. So yes, this is not something that you can really actively avoid. As someone who actually has a character that automatically loots items and scraps everything, I am at risk for this bug where my save would push past eight megabytes and corrupt it. There are also a lot of people who are being affected by this who did the item duplication glitch and CD Projekt Red did have a official response in some capacity via GOG on what exactly you can do to avoid this. So let's take a quick read at that and then really discuss uh, what this bug is and how insane it is. The post starts off with the topic, Cyberpunk 2077 save data is damaged and cannot be loaded. It reads as the following. Unfortunately, the save is damaged and cannot be recovered. Please use an older save file to continue playing and try to keep a lower amount of items and crafting materials. If you have used the item duplication glitch, please load a save file not affected by it. The save file size limit might be increased, might be increased in one of the future patches, but the corrupted files will remain that way. So this is not something right now that if you have been affected by this bug that you can wait for a patch and let's say they do increase the file size limit for your saves that, oh, your save's back. Once it is corrupted, it is corrupted forever. This inherently neuters your desire to play the game. I have been going back and forth between this game and Hades. I love Hades, by the way. I gotta review this game because it is so dang good, but just take this as a short form review. Buy it if you like great action combat and a pretty interesting narrative. But point being is I've been going back and forth between these two. And so I'm actually kind of scared to play Cyberpunk now because I have a character that auto scraps items I loot. So I have an inventory full to the brim of junk, crafting materials, items I wanna craft, equipment, because I wanna have all the equipment in case Let's say they add like transmog into the game. I don't know if it's gonna be a thing where you can just access all the styles or you have to own the styles. So I'm trying to have those, stash them away in my bike or my car. And it's just something where I'm like, dude, I can't play an RPG like I would play an RPG. 
This has to be priority number one. They have to get on this. This cannot stay around. Like I'm talking about, dude, not even waiting for a patch. Hot fix this immediately because if this sticks around, this will kill the game because there are people like myself and others out there. I'd say I have a pretty high tolerance for bugs. I've played Bethesda games my entire life, okay? I gotta be real. I've played them my whole life. I'm pretty used to them. Does that mean I like them? Does that mean that I look past them when I see them in games? No, it's just that I don't get as irritated as I think a lot of people do. But some people are able to enjoy Cyberpunk 2077 despite all of its technical issues. And that's great. But what this is doing is that even if the people who are enjoying it continue to play it, they will eventually be impacted in some way, shape, or form. That's not okay. An RPG should never tell you to loot less and to craft less. Those are two core pillars of a role-playing game. To tell you to do that hurts the experience entirely. And it has actually pushed me from really having a desire to continue playing because you know, right now, like I'm gonna fire up another playthrough, but it's almost like begrudgingly. And I, no one wants to do that. We wanna freely explore the world, freely loot as much as possible. I've actually never heard of this before, where if you loot too much and you pretty much play the game as you're supposed to, you're going to be impacted. So my suggestion here would be to continue to manual save and make sure you make a lot of save files. The issue here is that eventually that inventory is gonna to continue to stack and continue to fill up unless you continuously empty it out. And I don't think any player should have that fear hanging over their head right now of, gee, I hope I don't loot this gun and break my game. I just, it's, it's unbelievable, man. And I, like, I'm not even a hoarder in RPGs and I'm scared. Fortunately, this is being brought to CD Projekt Red's attention right now on their forums, it's blowing up, but actually a original Reddit post which helped kickstart everything, not the first one I showed you, but another one put it perfectly saying that all saves are ticking time bombs right now. Eventually you are going to hit that limit and that's not good, right? There is nothing okay about that. You should be allowed to spend as much time in that world as humanly possible. And what's scary is this isn't a design decision, but what's even more creepy is like they might increase the save file. To, what if you don't? Then what? How do you how do you limit that the file size is going to increase as you loot more items? That's the type of stuff, man, that I can't help but look at and I get really worried. But the good news is right now this is being brought to the attention of a lot of players. But I think what's happening is there's been this large blow over of negative news of bad news for cyberpunk and a lot of people are starting to turn it off and i totally understand respect that and to some degree encourage that some people just want to go enjoy their game and they should go do that but this is a bug this is a problem that needs to be brought to the attention of the people because it will impact eventually everyone unless something is done by cd project red like this is something that needs to be priority number one i hate to say it above the visual bugs above the glitches, above the performance, the game needs to be able to let you play it so that your save file doesn't corrupt because once it corrupts, there is no bringing it back. And that's bad news for literally everyone, regardless of platform, PC configuration, none of that matters at this point. Everyone could be affected at some point in time. So I hate to make it all bad news, all negative stuff, um, you know, I do have a lot of videos planned discussing the merits of this game to give you guys a teaser. A couple of them I do have in mind are a build that I really like that you've seen in the background. It's my tech build. I've really enjoyed using this. It's been a really good time. I have things that I think could improve with the game based off my playtime with it. I have a video based off of choice in the game. I have a lot of different ideas for cyberpunk content that I've had stashed away as the news literally continues to roll on day in day out. So we have a lot more content to talk about with Cyberpunk revolving around the actual game itself, not some type of technical mishap that seems to consistently occur or a strange decision by executives. But this is one that I actually had to move our podcast over a week because we do our podcast every Sunday. I moved it over a week because we're going to be on a holiday break. So I have two weeks filled up for podcasts and I felt like this took precedent right now. And of course, we wanna make sure that we have the two podcasts two weeks in a row while we're all gone, taking a little bit of a holiday hiatus. So it's one of those things where this is that important, right? Like we're pretty steady on when we release our podcast, but I felt this was something that was very major to bring to your attention. So I've talked about it enough. The sad part is there's nothing you can do to really prevent it as it stands because it's not like oh go in the game and just be careful because you know like what are you gonna loot less weapons you're gonna scrap less stuff like what i just i can't fathom suggesting that to an rpg player for me my suggestion right now 
and I hate to say it, would be to just give the game a rest for a little bit, wait for CD Projekt Red to submit an official response. Because right now, it's just their forums, it's Reddit, uh, and some videos online. I don't think it's blown up enough. Like, a, a lot more people need to be talking about this, because CD Projekt Red needs to come out with a plan. But what really stinks here is this is happening right against Christmas, man. And, like, I'm sure they just want to take a little bit of a breather. And that's what stinks about this release window. They could not have that holiday break that I think they deserve and need to really collect themselves. So they gotta probably work right through this. Otherwise, there's gonna be a lot of unhappy people during the holidays. But anyway, time will tell on how CD Projekt Red responds. For now, my call is just uh, put the game down and play something else for a little bit until there's an official response, which should never ever be the case and definitely makes me very upset uh, once again on how this launch has gone. So. With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for sitting through a fun little Cyberpunk 2077 video. As I get ready for my holiday break, do know we're going to be talking less news and more about the game itself. So, got a lot of content on the uh, schedule for all of you there. Looking forward to talking more with all of you on that, but there is still a little bit more news left over that I would like to discuss. With that, I'll leave it in your hands. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below between the bug, as well as what you think could be done to help fix this. What will CD Projekt Red do? Let me know. And with that, Talk with all of you soon. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.